How to act around Filipinos when you're in the Philippines. Stay tuned. Hello my friends, this is Bobby D coming to you from Talamban, Cebu, Philippines. I'm having an awesome time with the Philippines today. Hope you are as well wherever you're from. Hey, today I want to talk to you about how to act around Filipinos when you're in the Philippines. How to act around Filipinos when you're in the Philippines. Yeah. Now, when we talk about the Philippines, you know what I'm saying? This is a country that's very, very uh, much rooted in cultural tradition. And, and as such, the Filipinos have a set of standards, a set of unwritten guidelines that they adhere to when they're out and about and when they're socializing with their families and friends. And, and so it's going to help you when you come to the Philippines to understand some of the non-written rules in this culture and society. So I got a few for you. First of all, number one. When you're in the Philippines and you're a foreigner, be careful of your tone of voice. Yeah, be careful of your tone. Filipinos do not like loud talking foreigners. Yeah, they don't like them. <laughs> and the thing about it is Filipinos are somewhat loud themselves, especially as, as it relates to singing karaoke. I mean, but when you're around Filipinos, if you talk loud, they, from a, from a foreigner, they think it's rude. And they don't want to be around you. Okay? So, watch your tone of voice. Watch if you're loud or not. Because it would offend another, it would offend a, a Filipino. Now, one example is, Lisa D and I were getting our licenses, we were getting married years ago. I went into office, went into City Hall office, I politely asked the lady at the counter what was the procedures, and she wouldn't tell me. She just kept telling me to sit down. So I sat down for 15 minutes, and I saw people coming and going, so I asked her again, ma'am, can you tell me what the procedures is? She said, sit down, sir. I said, ma'am, and I got a little perturbed. <laughs> I raised my voice. I said, ma'am, I'm not sitting down. I've been down sitting down for 15 minutes now. I want to know the procedures. Okay, she said, okay, sir, I'll tell you. And she told me what I needed to know. And I sat down and waited my turn. So as soon as I sat down, the guy next to me, Filipino, got up and walked away. And it's okay with me. And the next thing I know, he was staring back at me, looking mean. I asked Lisa D, what's going on with this guy? He's, he's, he's eyeballing me. For some reason, looking mean. He said, you were loud at the desk. I said, what do you mean? He said, you raised your voice. And Filipinos don't like loud talking points. Lesson learned. So, first thing, remember, watch your tone of voice. Second, when you're in the Philippines, you have to go not according to your, your local time, not according to Philippine standard time, but you're going to go, you go according to Filipino time. Mm -hmm. Not Filipino standard time, but Filipino time, okay? What does that mean? That means that... Whatever time you're told that, that you'll be met by a Filipino or you're supposed to be someplace, a Filipino is supposed to be someplace at a particular time, always expect them to be late. If you expect to be there, if you say, I want to see you there at 5 o'clock, expect that Filipino to be there at 5, 30, 6 o'clock. They'll always be at least 30 minutes to an hour behind whatever time you stay. And they think it's perfectly normal. So that's called Filipino time. One other thing is this. Whenever you're around family of the Filipino, do not, and I repeat, do not disrespect the family. And the way to respect the family is by addressing them in the proper way that they should be addressed. Now, you in, in America, if you met an older person, you call them by their first name, John, Bill, or Susie, whatever the first name is. But in the Philippines, if you meet an older person, you don't call them by the first name. That's rude. That's impolite. You would call them, if, if they're an older man, you would call them Kuya. Or if they're, they're an older lady, you would call her Ate. 
Okay? Now, that's who's showing respect. Now, if they're a grandmother or a grandfather, you would call the grandfather Lolo, and you would call the grandmother Lola. You don't call them by their first name. They think that's disrespectful. One other thing about the Philippines, they have a deep, overriding respect for the elderly and the aged people. Now, okay, so this is the third thing. Whenever you are in contact with Filipinos, you're about out and about with them, and you come upon an older person, a senior, you should generally do what's called the blessing. Okay? And that's when you take that senior's hand, just like this, and you place it on top of your forehead. Bend over, place it on top of your forehead. That's called the blessing. Okay? That is, a, a, that is thought that that senior is aged and respectful and wisdom and they're passing the blessing of their wisdom, the blessing of their seniority and, and wisdom and knowledge over to you. It's called the blessing. And if you're dealing with a senior, you're expected to do that. You just don't go shake their hand. You take their hand, place it on your forehead. That's the transfer of process. Uh, now, it's also called the blessing or, it's all, or it can be called mono. Okay? Those are some of the terms. Now, that is to distinguish between another term that a lot of Filipinos do, some Filipinos do, it's called beso, beso. Now, that's a whole Spanish term. It means kiss. That's, that's one thing they greet. When you greet someone, you can also do a beso, beso. That means you kiss them on each cheek, politely. Side to side. You kiss them on each cheek. It's called the beso, beso. Now, you don't see that a lot nowadays, but just be aware that if you see that, that's another traditional cultural uh, cultural thing that they do here. If you ever get in any discussions whatsoever about sports and about boxing, never, and I repeat, never <laughs> disrespect Manny Pacquiao. Now, when we talk about Manny Pacquiao, we're talking about a national icon. A hero in the eyes of the Philippine people. You might just have a fight on your hand right there because Filipinos are highly nationalistic. They're very, very appreciative of the people that have, of the sports personalities, uh, the singers, anyone that has done well for this country and represents them, they, have, they hold them in the highest esteem. So be careful when you're talking to the Filipino, do not disparage any of their national figures. Also, when you come into a Filipino's house, be very respectful. You are required to take your shoes off, okay? So, when you come to their house, that's not, that's, now that's something that's just not with Filipinos. That's pretty much with Asians. You're required to take your shoes off and uh, sit down. That just shows the household, respect for the household and people in the household. It's just an ancient, ancient culture and that Filipinos expect you to take your shoes off. So don't get perturbed. Why am I taking my shoes off? Don't do all that. Just take your shoes off. And if you don't like to go barefooted on the floor, wear socks, okay? But you, you, you need to respect the, the home that you're entering by removing your shoes. Okay, so those are just some of the things I wanted to mention to you so that you can know how to behave around Filipinos if you're, if you're coming here for the first time or if you've been coming a while and, and just haven't understood some of the things. Just wanted to bring that to you so you can understand how to interact with Filipinos in a manner that will be acceptable to them. That's it for now, guys. This is Bobby D saying take care. God bless. Peace.